Hey everyone, uh, this is a quick update video. As soon as I posted that financial breakdown of the game, they made some changes for the new month um, that's worth going over. Um, most notably is the season pass. Um, it's not going to list it here because I've already purchased it, but it was no longer available for purchase with gold. It actually was listed as $9.99, and then like a lot of season passes, you could buy levels on it for an extra $5. Um, so with that being said, my um initial thoughts about being able to pay for a season pass once and then as long as you hold on to your gold being able to season pass every season uh is no longer true that's a little unfortunate but i do um still think the ten dollars is worth the value if it's a game you're gonna be playing a lot you still get quite a bit of golden credits out of it um though some of those are free um the biggest concern i have is wave right here was um locked behind the paywall and um uh, it's to be determined if season pass cards are going to be uh, early releases or if they are exclusive releases. And if they're exclusive releases, it's pretty feel bad. Um, not only could you just miss a season of play, not be able to access a card, but um, half being required to spend the money on it uh, isn't the, the best feeling in the world. I really hope that they're doing um, just an early release version instead or like a different art version um, slash early, something along those lines. Uh, Knowing how Ben Brode has acted in the past, I believe it's going to be an early preview, but there isn't an official statement on it, or if there is, I haven't been able to find it yet. Um, the only other thing worth mentioning was um, they did actually reset the ranked season in between months. I don't know if this will always be how they reset it, but I was around 82 or so. I deranked to 50. I don't know if they derank you in intervals of um, 10. Um, based on whatever your 10th highest was to a certain number by rank down 30 ranks. Uh, I did unlock everything that was um, unlockable up to that point. If it was something I could unlock again, like the card back wasn't claimable again because I already had it. Uh, it did take like 10 games of play. I don't know if that was a bug or if there's a uh, limited number of games per month. If there is, hopefully they add a visual at some point. There's space right here to put it. Um, but worth knowing the do have a ranked reset going on at least right now in the closed beta um and that you do get the rank rewards that you've already surpassed so there is a reason to kind of grind the ladder a little bit extra if um you don't want to derank as far um to be determined how much you derank and since we're already here i might as well just show you this is what like a normal season pass looks like so i believe that this one at the time the season started had an eight hour clock on it and wasn't available yet I started with these three quests, and then you can see that there's one that has nine hours, 51 minutes left, and then a day, nine hours, two days, nine hours, three days, nine hours, so on and so forth, with chapter two, three, and four actually having much longer waits. And um, you can you know, do the math yourself and see that um, that gives you a certain amount of time to get this all done. Uh, what, keep in mind with two weeks, six days, um, for chapter four, it means you only get one week to do chapter four. I didn't struggle with that before in the season pass, but there were a couple of grindier things at the very tail end that I almost didn't get. So, um, the time gate can be a little bit rough, but it's not the end of the world.